Are you ready for this week's PWR? Let's go! Hey YouTube, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Uh, first of all, Happy New Year. This is being filmed and hopefully going out on December the 31st, 2023. So let me know in the comments what's your plans. All the parties I get invited to, I'm so popular, see. Nah, in all seriousness, I'll be fast asleep probably because I got work in the morning. <laughs> yeah, just a normal day for me. I've never really been into the old New Year's party since I was late teenager, I want to say, when it was cool to go out and spend four times the amount on drinks and to get into everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I hope you have a great New Year's Eve and an even better 2024. 2024 is going to be our year, okay? I'm blessing everyone that watches my video with good positive vibes going into 2024, okay? So, um reason you came here was for my what I've been playing, what I've been watching, what I've been reading um, over the last seven days. Kind of like my digital diary kind of thing, you know, if you haven't seen these videos before. Um, so, start off with what have I been playing. Well, actually, before we get into that, right, I got an interesting stat, okay. Just stumbled across, I got my phone in my hand here, okay. So, obviously, oh, if you didn't know, uh, January the 26th, yeah, January the 26th, there's two very special games coming out on the same day. So, there's a little known game called Tekken 8 is coming out, and Undernight Inbirth 2 is coming out. Uh, both look shape enough to be fantastic fighting games, very different kind of fighting games. I'm probably more excited for Undernight Inbirth 2, if I'm being honest. Uh, that's my jam, that is. If you like Melty Bloods, Blaze Blue, that kind of game, that more 2D anime, over the top, super fast, uh, great arcade, fun old times. Yeah, that that's a game. Uh, that's the game for you. So I'm really looking forward to that. And obviously, then you got Tekken 8 coming out. So I was looking on uh, Amazon. I'm always looking at stats, I'm the stats guy, okay, and looking at the pre-orders, so when, I'll probably bring it up there if I remember, so you'll be looking at what I'm looking at now. So, for the PlayStation 5, just the launch edition, I'm probably going to go for that edition, because the Tekken 8 Collector's Edition is $269.99, that's a lot of money, uh, a lot of money I I'm trying to start saving my money a bit more, okay? It comes with some cool things. It comes with like a Devil Jin um, statue. That does look really cool. I might regret not getting that. But the other things, there's like art cards. There's a ring. <laughs> jewelry. I don't know. I'm not really into my jewelry, you know? Um, yeah, so I'm probably not going to go that route because there's two games coming out on the same day as well. So Undernight Inbirth 2 is currently 44.99. Um, so I'm going to be spending quite a lot of money anyway, so I can't justify buying two games on launch, okay, and having one of them as a collector's edition. Uh, so yeah, so Tekken 8 launch edition, if you look at the PlayStation 5, it says on Amazon, 500 plus have bought this in the past month, so over 500 people have pre-ordered it on Amazon. And then if you scroll down, PC, it doesn't say any, so that means it's probably under 50 people have pre-ordered it. But I was talking to Chris yesterday, shout out my imaginary friend Chris. He is a real person, it's not, <laughs> I think he's a real person. Well, he bought me stuff for Christmas, so yeah, he must be a real person, <laughs> sorry. Um, a lot of people just download it on Steam, don't they? I've not, never been a PC gamer. But then, so remember now, PS5, 500 plus bought in the last month. The Xbox Series X, 50 people, 50 plus people have uh, bought it so that's interesting isn't it it's definitely looks like the ps5 is going the same way as the ps4 where the ps4 was the fighting game console wasn't it so i definitely made the right choice i've got an xbox one i hardly ever play it uh the only game that keeps me uh 
keeps me from not selling my Xbox again is Killer Instinct. Okay, again, that's because it's an exclusive on that console. Sorry, I just thought it was a random little stat we'll start the video with. I haven't actually played a lot, so uh, this video might be a bit shorter, so I beefed it up with that little, little segment. Okay, let me know. What do you think? Are you going to pre-order it? Are you going to get the Collector's Edition? Tekken 8 I'm talking about. Collector's Edition, if you're an Xbox gamer... As well, I think they're cross-platform anyway, so maybe I'm reading too much into it, I don't know. But if you are a fighting game fan and you haven't made the leap into current gen just yet, because uh, there's still games coming out on the PlayStation 4, isn't there? Um, and you're wondering which console to get next, maybe you're an Xbox fanboy and you want to be, and you're getting into fighting games, then I'd recommend, based on the stats and, uh, like, the PS4, I reckon the PS5 is going to be the console you want for these, um, the next gen fighting games, okay? So, Sunday, so I'm changing the way I do my video as well. So I normally type in now, I've added, rather than just saying what games I played last week, I, again, it's like a visual, uh, digital diary. I've got Sunday, I played this, Monday, I played this, Tuesday, etc, etc. So, Sunday, which I believe was Christmas Eve, I played some Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I haven't got it here to hand. Oh, yes, I have. Yeah, it's just there. So, um, really good fun game. It's my third playthrough, and it's still keeping me thoroughly entertained. I must be getting close to the 100 hours combined, because um, it's my third playthrough, you know. So, it's a really good fun game. I think it's called the genre. So, it's a third-person shooter. But it's a tactical shooter, open world, RPG elements, you can level up, you can level up your guns, you can get better guns, and like everything from the headgear, trousers, shoes, boots, they all increase your stats as well. So a really good fun game. I think we saw that's normally between the six and eight pound uh, pre-owned. I think I remember I paid eight pound for this, brand new on Amazon just over a year ago and it still stands up okay guys so i thoroughly recommend that so that was what i played Ooh. sorry i thought i deleted it then that's what i played on sunday so monday was christmas day and i had off my brother i knew i was having it and i it's nice to have something to look forward to because if i knew he wasn't getting it for me i would have bought this on launch day but i withheld and withdrew and just thought right wait and have it for christmas so the most exciting thing i was had for christmas was robocop rogue city so we played that and i streamed that i actually streamed ghost recon as well again really enjoying my streaming at the moment yeah so we got my first or we captured my first um reactions and first thoughts on this i think we did about two hours or something like that and time absolutely flew by it is a first-person shooter, uh, a great first-person shooter. Um, it probably helps if you're a fan of the original movie. Uh, there's so many Easter eggs, like down to like posters you see in the street, the sound effects, the music, the characters. It's an excellent game. I think brand new, it's $44.99. And so far, I've only played it three times, so three streams. Um, I'm... I'm thoroughly enjoying it. What I think is going to happen is when you actually complete the game, it might let you replay it and keep your stats because it's got kind of RPG elements to it. So you can, I'm, I'm focusing on leveling up my armor. And once you've maxed out the armor, it says, how cool is this? So normal bullets will bounce off you and kill the enemies. And I got about two or three more experience points away from doing that. And then it'd be nice to start it again and keep those stats and level up something else, you know? So after three or four playthroughs, you'll just be like a god walking around, unstoppable kind of thing. So yeah, we played that Christmas day. Um, oh, we've got a dog. He always comes up, doesn't he, to say hello. Hello. He's a little bit wet. We haven't long got in. We went running this morning, didn't we? And he's tired. He's tired. We're both tired. You were sleeping, you were? You all right? I could stand in, down, down. I'm only come to say hello to you, right? This way. I've got to guide him out to my little corner of my game. So, I got, so I got the camera off camera, it's a bit chaos. Right, this way. Good boy, good boy. Good boy. Right, cut down. 
Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But we've always got time for Rossi on my channel. He's my he owns half the channel, doesn't he? Um, yeah. So that was Christmas evening. I it just I love streaming. I really am enjoying streaming. Okay, thanks to everyone that comes out. Sometimes nobody's watching. Sometimes there's four or five people watching. I really enjoy it. So thank you guys uh, for stopping on by. Uh, Tuesday then I played some street fighter 4 i'm holding this i i always say I, I need something in my hand and i'm talking about a game so um i don't i need like a prop all the time but i've got it on it's digital on installed on my hard drive on my playstation 5 okay and oh, it is my favorite game of all time still is my favorite game of all time but the reason i wanted to play that i've been taking this bad boy for a spin so i had this for christmas uh, I have talked about it in two other videos. It's been in my collection for a couple of months. I bought it in the Cardiff gaming market. My mum gave me the money for it. I didn't, I used it once and I did um, stop myself from using it until I had it on Christmas. And I can confirm it's great fun. It's an absolute, it's not far, it's my second favourite fight stick. My number one, yeah, you can just about see it just down there. Probably will always be my favourite, will be my Victrix Pro. Um, but yeah, I'm just exploring the roster again uh, with Street Fighter 4, you know. So yeah, that's why I played a, only a little bit uh, on Tuesday. I didn't go live because I need to get um, a microphone or a headset or something. I'm a bit clueless with all that stuff, okay? Um, where when I'm normally streaming like first person shooters are perfect for me to stream because I'm using the built-in microphone on the PlayStation 5 controller okay I know I say it every week um, but when I'm doing fighting games with a fight stick um, if I'm live I'm I can't really talk to you okay because there's no built-in microphone on them yet okay Wednesday then we played some more Robocop uh, Rogue City and we streamed for just under three hours and it's a bit disappointing. Right at the end of the stream, the graphics are very impressive. Okay, this isn't actually a triple A game. It's um this an up and coming game developer. I think it's Onicon. I think that that company there. I'm not sure if that's an O or if that's their logo. I don't know. Okay, or is it Nacon? I don't know. Sorry if I'm butchering that. Um, but. It, what we thought had happened was because my maybe my PS5 was overheating because the the graphics are so good. I think I had it on performance setting, and because um, I was streaming, maybe it was overheating. So I played it the next evening, and it turns out no, it wasn't overheating because it was very glitchy. And I was doing of all the kind kinds of missions, a sniping mission where my aim had to be perfect to take out. I had a sniper to take out other snipers. And it was really glitchy and it was almost unplayable. So I stopped playing. I needed to end the stream anyway. Um, so I played it offline. I did that one mission. Uh, stopped playing it. Uh, took the disc out, rather. Played PS... the Sorry, uh, more Street Fighter 4. Because that was the next game across and it was digital. Because I had a little bit of me thought maybe my PlayStation 5 was going faulty. But thank God... The Street Fighter 4 ran perfect. Put the disc back in and it ran perfect again. So I, it's one of those strange glitches, okay? I wouldn't let that, but I wouldn't want that to put anyone off playing the game. So if they ever experienced that, what I did, took the game out, blew on, there wasn't a mark on the game because it's a brand new game. Did the old <sighs> blow on it, wiped it with the bottom of my t shirt, put it back in and it worked perfectly fine, all right? Uh, so that was Thursday night. I did that, but I didn't stream. Friday, got to Friday. I really wanted to do Friday night fights. And I was just exhausted. I just I think I need some time off work. I had a day off for Christmas Day because uh, the gym I work in was closed. But I just, there's been a few people not turning up and stuff like that. So I have to inherit the day work. I think I'm working myself to the bone kind of thing. So I've got a week off early February so I've got five weeks of work left if I can get there and then I got a nice relaxing week you know so I'm going to try to recharge my batteries best I can on these weekends um, and how do I relax gaming so happy days 
So last night then we played, um, surprise, surprise, some more Robocop Rogue City. Um, we did another, I want to say, two hours of that. Um, I googled it, it looks like it's about a nine and a half hour campaign mode on average to complete it. But I think the way I'm playing it, I'm getting so distracted by everything that's out there. I'm like checking out apartments and say it says you got to go upstairs in this tower block. I'm going downstairs and looking round and like I want to explore every square inch of the police station. Because it, it was in the movies, wasn't it? It's like being on the movie set as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, so I'm, um, I'm thoroughly enjoying that game. I can't recommend it highly enough if you like your first person shooters. Or, like me, I'm half a fan of first-person shooters, but it's the nostalgia because it's Robocop, you know? So that's all I've been playing over the last week. One sec. Rossi, stop that, please. Good boy. Sorry. <laughs> Dog dad. Um, Netflix. Didn't really get into much over the last week on Netflix. I'm starting watching stuff, um, but i got nothing of note that I've watched. Uh, on Prime, on Christmas Day... I watched two movies, obviously Christmas movies. So I went up to my mum's house for Christmas dinner. So it was me, my dog, my mum's dog, and my grandmother. Uh, had a lovely Christmas dinner, absolutely. I don't eat enough of these Sunday dinners, but uh, it made it extra nice. It's probably the only one I've had since the last Christmas dinner, okay? So I was loving it. Yeah, I even ate the sprouts, didn't I mean? That's saying something. So we all were there just chilling on the sofa. I think my nan fell asleep within five minutes. So I was in control of the remote. So on Amazon Prime, we watched Scrooged, which is my favourite Christmas movie of all time. That opening scene with the, like, Santa in the North Pole and stuff, and they bring out those machine guns as AK-47s. It's just so funny. And then we watched Santa Claus the movie. So we watched two films in one go. And I was... I wasn't sleeping, but I was nearly sleeping. I was like awake, just enjoying it, having a lovely Christmas day, because last year, Christmas day, I couldn't get out of bed because I was so ill. So I've made up for the last two Christmases. It was twice as good as normal. So I'm I'm happy, okay? Uh, YouTube, watched a lot of YouTube. I think quite a lot of people, I haven't streamed or haven't done enough videos from what I'd, I'd like to do not that i got a set schedule i don't do this for a living this is just purely a hobby obviously um but i gotta be honest i like to do shout outs for smaller like myself kind of size youtube channels so um you guys can go check them out and if you like the content you can support them so rarely do the big youtube channels okay but there's i've watched a video i've watched it twice right and it really has stayed with me uh, you probably all heard of it, the Cinemassacre, so the angry video game nerd. Um, I kind of, I love, we all love the old school ang angry video game nerd videos, but then he's become corporate, corporatized, or he's like, first thing he ever said is sponsors. This video is sponsored by this. So it's, it, the last 12 months, he's probably, his heart's not in it. He's, he's playing a character. Um, but the last video he put up was just like, his old school stuff. He wasn't losing his temper. He was talking about Final Fantasy VI. Now I get confused. Is it Final Fantasy III on the Super Nintendo or Final Fantasy VI, right? I've never actually played it. I've got this one on the 3DS, okay? So it's Final Fantasy III. I don't know if this is the game he was talking about, but he's talking about this, the giant RPGs, aren't they? And to level up, you're, you're talking months and months to get to the final boss in these games, okay? Funnily enough, I've never actually finished a Final Fantasy game, and that's one of my goals going into 2024. I want to finish a Final Fantasy game. It might be Final Fantasy 3, because I got it there. It might be Final Fantasy 10, um, or it might be 15 or 16. I just don't know. But my one of my goals, I want to finish at least one Final Fantasy game. One second. Rossi, stop that. We don't do that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so this video was obviously Cinemasca video talking about Final Fantasy VI on the SNES, okay? And he got to the final boss, so he put all months of work in, and something happened to his cartridge where the game froze, and it wiped all his saves as well. So he reset the PlayStation, uh, sorry, the Super Nintendo, and it wiped all his saves. 
can you imagine? I've had similar things happen to me. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but not quite. I just put... I've had, like, lost a save where I've lost a day's worth of gameplay. Like, for example, Serious Sam. Uh, one of the Serious Sam games, there's no auto save, So I nearly did it in one day. Turned it off to work, go downstairs to have some food. Went back up, and there was no auto save. I was like, oh, my God. I did, and that was frustrating enough. So can you imagine, as a kid, playing Final Fantasy, call it Final Fantasy VI, playing it, playing it, playing it for months, and you're so invested in it, and you got to start again. So you couldn't face it until now. So all these years, 20, 30 years, however long it's been later, it was him showing him replaying it. And it glitched again. Or he did like a skit that it glitched in the same place again. I thought, are you kidding me? But no, he was only joking. And then he finished the game. And um, it, it was just like his old stuff. It was a love letter to retro gaming. And it just made me want to... I kind of neglected my retro stuff because most, if you look back at the last six, seven weeks of my, what I've been playing, watching, reading, I'm pretty sure it's all on the PlayStation 5 because it's an amazing console, isn't it? So PS5 and PS4 games I've been playing the majority of my time, but I have really been neglecting all these amazing retro games. So Cinemasker, you've got me back into the retro stuff, okay? And I think the RPGs, especially the turn-based RPGs, would have aged the best, okay? Um, but yeah, what a great video. Does anyone know what the score is with this game? Is it? Is that the game he played, Final Fantasy 3 or 6? It doesn't really say. I, I know it's just a quick Google search, you know. But if anyone knows, just let me know in the comments. Thank you, please. And what have I been reading, okay? So I finished the Mortal Kombat book. That was absolutely fantastic. And I just started reading, I've read them before, the Kira books, okay? And I finished this last night. Um, this is only volume one, the six books in the entire uh, series. And I tell you, it's so different. It's funny that how the brain plays tricks on you. So, because I've watched the movie so many times, probably, if I'm being realistic, between 30 to 40 times probably in my life I've watched that movie, okay? But I've read these a couple of times, especially the first one. This is the one I've read the most. But every time I read it, I'm my brain's thinking, because these characters are going to be doing what they do in the movie, and the movie is so different to the books, okay? And something I completely forgot about, right? So can you do the 15-year-old kids, right? And uh, well, I probably can't find it here, but it's like these. It's hardcore, okay, and it's it's aged really well. It's set in the eight. Oh, it's written, sorry, in the eighties. It's kind of set in current time now, like where we are now. And um, drugs. It's a big thing about drugs, and they're all basically they're all pellets at the end of the day. And Kanida gets his drugs from the school nurse. And again, it says they're 15, but then the school nurse, who's got access to the drugs, and is basically just writing him prescriptions or giving him drugs over the counter, um, and he's like the gang leader, and he supplies his gang with all these pills, do you know what I mean? And then she says, and it's hard to, I'm not sure, but the reason I'm talking about the age, that he's 15, she's... I don't know how old you've got to be to be a nurse, do you know what I mean? Certainly older than 15, but it comes across that she's his girlfriend and then she says she's pregnant and he's not bothered. He's like, yeah, uh, just give us the pills. And then he's wondering then, the next time he goes and sees her, she's really cold with him and slams the door and won't give him any more drugs because he's probably the father of this child and he doesn't want to be part on the scene. So it's a lot darker than what I can remember. It's been years since I've read these, okay? But there's a lot of things, and that's just one little example, you know? It's really funny as well. That's not, that was quite hard. I thought that was, that was a bit insane. But it's the first time I've read that and really gone, hang on, he's 15. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, but I know it's, we're living in different times now. Um, but yeah, I still enjoyed it, nevertheless, okay? So that's what I've been playing, what I've been watching, what I've been reading, okay? Um, I'm going to try and do a couple of videos. I need to do... Uh, I know I'm behind on my collection videos. I want to do Game of the Year. 
um that might i might film it today i might but it might be up tomorrow it'll definitely be up by this time next week the thing is because i'm playing robocop rogue city that's definitely honorable mention but i will say i think 2023 has been the best year we've had dare i say ever for video games certainly for me because i know like killer instinct i know it's a 10 year old game but it's the, it's the year i finally got to play it um obviously then you get the more combat one you got the street fighter 6 king of fights 13 re-released it's been a fantastic year uh, for video games so it's gonna be quite hard to narrow it down to my top three games of the year okay um yeah so that'll be coming so stay tuned so subscribe if you haven't already subscribed i, I find it feel weird saying it um so you don't miss out uh turn the notification bell on that's what the big youtubers say isn't it um yeah, that's what I've been playing, what I've been watching, what I've been reading. If I don't see you before, uh, have a great 2024. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.